Now that we've spent so much time reading about color and the ways that different colors can mix together in our world. So what you're going to need for this activity is just a few things. You'll want to have a, a coffee filter. Um, if you don't have a coffee filter lying around, um, a thin piece of paper, like a paper towel, um, would work pretty well, or, or tissue paper. Um, and it doesn't have to be in a circle, but you can cut it in a circle if you like. You'll need a handful of washable markers in your favorite color. And they do have to be washable. We don't want any of those super permanent never come off till you're dead markers because those won't actually work for this activity. So make sure you do grab some washable colored markers. And then lastly, you're going to want to have a, um, a spray bottle or something similar for uh, spraying water. If you don't have a spray bottle laying around, really anything that you can use to just sprinkle water droplets. So if you want to take like a wire hairbrush and get it wet so that you can uh, splash water droplets or um, squeezing a towel over the paper might work, but just something that you can use to spray small amounts of water at a time. And then just because this activity can get a little bit messy, you're going to want a tray to capture your um, activity in. So once you have your materials, you'll take your coffee filter or your piece of tissue paper, and you're just going to color it in different colors any way that you want. Um, so here's mine that I colored. I chose to make a design with the, does anyone know what shape that is? That's a heart in the middle with four colors around it. Um, so you can do something like that. You can just color however you want. Um, and when we're coloring, we want to try and color nice big strokes with the, the marker. So if we take our marker and we turn it to the side. We can show our little one how to turn the marker to the side and color nice big lines like that. Uh, another thing that you can do uh, as a caregiver, if you want to give your child some practice uh, coloring within a space, you can draw lines ahead of time for them and have them color them inside or color in the design. So once you have your coffee filter or tissue paper nice and colored, you'll place it inside your tray like this. And this is the fun part. You'll take your spray bottle now. Because these markers are washable, that means when water touches the color, the color will start to bleed. So let's see what happens when I spray this. The colors will start to blend together. And I should say too that um, I colored this one a few days ago, so it is better if you do this right after you color to mix the colors up. But the colors will start to run into one another and make a nice blend so you can see what you come up with at the end. See, there's all my colors in the tray. That's why you need a tray. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, if you try this out and you wanna share a picture of your color design, you're welcome to post it in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching today and we'll see you again next Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Stay well.